Hello everyone, Quinn and Quinn here again, and I am here doing a very different video. Um, today's video will be me testing out the buttered beer jelly soap from Loreworks. Now this is a new thing, jiggly jiggly jiggly, and uh, it is Harry Potter inspired, oh my god. It smells so good though. She uh, recently redid the formula, I guess, for her butter beer scent, and it's really, really good. It's not very overpoweringly butterscotch, and it's got a nice, like, fluffy marshmallowiness to it. Delicious. So, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna cut it up. You're gonna see me cut it up and all that other fun stuff. So, this will be the first video where I'm still not gonna um, do cuts, but I'm going to be editing in multiple videos into one video to make it, you know, so you can see all the stuff that you need to see, me cutting it up, me testing it out as a bubble bath and hand soap or whatever. So, yeah, so I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> Bye. For like five seconds. Or like a second. Yeah! Okay, so I'm back again, well, whatever, with the buttered beer thing, and now we are going to chop it up. Look at, first we're just gonna like appreciate this though. Look at that sparkle, look at the beauty, look at all of that. Just like, it's incredible what she does. Her work is just phenom nom. Love it. So now we're gonna plop it out. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Oh, oh, come back here. Where are you going? Oh, that's so strange, but I love it. It's like, ooh, it's fun. Okay. So now I'm surprised how not messy. Um, this is like a glass counter thing and like, I'm not really getting oil stuff all over it. So I'm surprised. Um, so now I'm gonna chop it up because she says to, a little goes a long way, and to chop it up into uh, pieces, really small pieces. So I'm gonna start off just doing this. And um, yeah. So we're just gonna look at that, just a slice. A beautiful color. Oh, that absolutely delicious smell. Oh my god. It is truly enchanting. The scent is just incredible. So we're gonna chop it up a little bit more here, people. Yeah. This is so fun. I love, I love chopping this up. It's so like, you would think it would be weird, but no, I don't know. And it feels exactly like jello like like this feels like jello but for some reason it's not like w really wet like i don't know and it's not like it's not melting in my hand like jello or anything obviously because it's it's a soap so um you know look at all them pieces look at that jiggle Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Jiggle. Boop, boop. And look at that, like, that's just so crazy. I just do a little bloop and it's like, shockwave. Shake it, shake it, shake it, girl. Back, 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 back it up. Chop, 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 chop it up. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm. And now I am supposed to put it back into the jar. So that's what I'm going to do. Now it is all choppy, choppy, choppied. And then, in a few moments, I will test out a little bit of this as a hand soap. And then, I am going to be doing a bubble bath because it is also a bubble bath. So. Be excite, be excite, be excite. Okay, so here I have a little tiny bit of the jelly soap 
and I'm going to wash my hands with it. It's supposed to get very, very sudsy for a little bit, so we'll see. Oh wow, yeah. Now, that was a really, really, really tiny piece, and it's like foamy, foamy, foam central, you know what I'm saying? Hands, my girl. How you like my hands? You like my hands? Also, like, this smell is just absolutely incredible. Like, I am loving living. So, yeah. We're gonna be doing... We're going to be doing the bathtub part next, because baby needs a bubble bath. So here we have the jelly soap and a little strainer. I am going to put a few of these little pieces into the uh, strainer here, and then I'm going to run them under some water. I've already filled up my bathtub a bit because, you know, it's always good to... I, I always like to fill up my bathtub a little bit first before I do a bath bomb or anything. I don't like to, you know. Doing this with one hand is quite interesting, I will say. So I'm going to start off with this amount because she says a little goes along the way, a long way. And um, as you've seen when I washed my hands, a little does go a long way. So I'm going to just... So now you probably won't be able to hear me very well, so I am going to turn on the water and we are going to test this thing out and see how much it bubbles up and uh, then I'll take a little bubbly bath and then uh, after I'll let you know how I thought. What I thoughts about all my thoughts is. All my thoughts is. All my thoughts is. Ooh. It's already starting to get pretty bubbly. She says to shake it around a little bit. You know, gets the stuff going. Looking pretty good so far. And it's like still a solid chunk in there too. Girl. Mm -mm. Look at all that bubble! Look at all that bubble! I honestly, so I've been doing bath bombs, but, um, and I buy her body wash, but I honestly haven't been, um, using her body wash or bubble bath, so I don't usually do bubble baths. I do bath bombs, you know? That's kind of more my thing, or bath soap. Um, but, you know, it's really hot today, and, you know, I did a lot of walking around and all that good stuff, so I thought I might as well treat myself, and it looks like I am treating myself. I don't think I'm gonna just use up all this a little bit. Yeah, okay, there you go. Alright. That's pretty much about it. Girl, this really does last forever. Okay. Um, and we are... We're done. We're done. Okay. So I think that's actually... That is enough water here, people. No. There's a lot of bubbles in here. I'm just, uh, I don't know if you see all them bubbles, but just look at them bubbles. Look at them bubbles. So now I'm gonna take a little bubbly bath in my buttered beer magical bath jelly. And, um, I'm gonna let y'all know what I think afterwards, but I'm feeling like this is gonna be pretty good already, so. And for the final part, my thoughts.
I loved it. It was fun, it was interesting, it was new, it was different, it smells really good. It's a very light scent. Um, I was actually surprised at how, um, how like, just like lovely and, and delicate and beautiful and sweet the scent was. It was very sweet and um, I was just, I'm, I'm amazed at the, at this. This is just like, I love it. I think that it deserves 11 stars. I don't know. I don't do ratings, but that's, I would give it more than 10. More than 10. Definitely. Buttered beer from Loreworks. Girl, you are working it. Ugh. You are lore working it, okay? That's what you're doing. And you know that, because that's what your name is. So you already be mm. But definitely, definitely recommend this. Absolutely loved it. Next time, I'm actually going to use a little bit more for the bubble bath, because um, as I sat in it and everything, you know, bubbles started to go away and everything. And um, But it, overall, it was really fun, and a little goes a long way. I'm, like, really surprised. Like, it still looks completely full. Like, it doesn't even look like I used any of it at all. Um, and I really didn't. I used, like, maybe a quarter-sized amount. I don't even know. Maybe less than that. Maybe a nickel-sized amount. Either way, amazing. So, definitely check it out. Check out Loreworks, you know. If you don't know about Loreworks, girl, you gotta check out Loreworks. You might have noticed, but I have a lot of Loreworks videos going on, you know. And there's a reason for that. If you go on my Instagram, I buy a lot of Loreworks stuff, and there is reasons for that. She is amazing. Her soaps are incredible. They are vegan. They are skin safe. They are just, like, amazingly moisturizing. I have combination dry skin and it's just like I don't even bother with like store bought like soaps and like it's just like she just go check her out like what are you doing bye check her out